hello hello and welcome to my youtube channel if you're just joining i'm gwendolyn Halley, and don't forget to subscribe 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 today we'll be talking about a very interesting topic ladies we are the price yes of course we are now this topic came to my mind i wanted us to have a little discussion on it so don't forget to comment and share and like trust me together we move and create impacts hallelujah now why did i come up with this topic i've been seeing a lot of things happen in the society around me especially with some ladies that are, i actually am working with in my in my business i empower through helping them in in uh, uh, starting a business to move through to life and also since i'm a pastor i meet a lot of people so it is one of the experiences in my life where i get to meet a lot of women and to empower them now what I always tell them is, you are the price. If you are single, please know that you are the price. Even while you are the married, even when you are married, you are the price. According to the Bible, it is written, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. And uh, it is also written that it is a woman that is a wife that enthrones her husband, a good wife enthrones her husband. That means that it is a woman that makes a man a king. A man can be king without his wife. Now, in the other scripture which I read, that says if a man finds uh, if a man finds a wife, he has found a good thing and he obtains favor from God. That means that God cannot favor a man unless he finds a wife. So, and this can be found in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 4, and Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. So ladies, my sisters, please let's stop begging for love and attention. It is actually a privilege for a man to have you in his life. If a man doesn't want you, move on. It hurts, but move on. Trust me, there's always something better. There's always something better. From the way God has made a woman, whether it is, it is physically, mentally, economically, we are faster mentally than the opposite sex. We can do 16 things at the same time, still think and everything are going well. But a man is not structured that way. We can remember a lot of things, but men think, but they think deep, but not fast like we do. Even if he's educated. So there are a lot of things that the Lord has put in us. Another thing I want to encourage us is that we should know our value, our purpose, our value. This is very, very important. Know your value. When God created woman, you know, he created woman as a helper for man, to make man, to push the man into his apex and beyond, you know. And when man sinned, God sent Adam out of his presence, Eden. But God didn't send Eve out of his presence. So Eve always can enter the presence of God. Always. Know your value. Spiritually, God has valued us. God has positioned us spiritually. And that is why even the Bible says that the devil hates the woman so badly because it is written in the Bible that the seed of a woman shall crush the head of a serpent. That is why the enemy hates when a woman stands up to pray. Ladies, let us know our value, our purpose. If you don't know your purpose, you cannot be a good sister, woman, female, a good wife, a good citizen. Because it is your purpose that pushes you, that propels you. Know your value, whether it's spiritually, mentally, economically, academically, socially, in whatever prospect it is. Know your value. Value yourself. I've always said this. A married woman or a married man isn't better than a single woman or a single man. Seek so hard to create impact. Build capacity in your community. Grow yourself. Grow yourself. Remember, there are many single people who are empty. You can divorce a man or a woman, but you cannot divorce your purpose, your destiny. Marriage is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. But work on yourself until you meet somebody who is equal or above you, who has vision, who your visions match together, and you can grow. Don't be with somebody who brings you down mentally who abuses you emotionally physically one of the one of the reasons why a lot of women allow physically and emotional abuse is because they are liabilities in life they haven't worked on themselves remember that the extent to which someone 
treats you badly, exploits you, molests you, is the extent to which you have allowed them to. I'm talking for adults, I'm not talking for people who are uh, uh, um, uh, below 18 or 16, who are still dependent on people. But at both the age of 18, you should be able to take responsibility for your life. Yes, you don't have, your parents died at the age of, of 12, when you were 12, 8 or so. Yes, you were treated badly. But oh, you're the masterpiece of your life. Take that pain and push forward. Grab the opportunities you have and propel. Everyone has one thing or another that they are struggling with. As a lady, in order for you to stay at the top, you need to deal with your insecurities because you're always going to find a woman who is smarter than you, prettier than you, well-shaped than you, more educated than you, intellectually brighter than you, has more influence than you, who has created more impact. So you need to identify your insecurities and, lean, uh, and deal with them so that you don't develop envy, jealousy, and competition, and strife. And all of this which you have in your heart will prevent you from being at the top and men at the top. Remember, you are needed in your community. You are a voice in your community, in your life. Your opinion is needed. Do not be in a relationship with someone who molests you, who beats you. Remember that for a relationship to last, there should be mutual respect. If a person hits you or abuses you, molests you physically, emotionally, that person does not respect you. And this is not only a relationship between a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, or a wife. This is a relationship between father, mother, boss, and employee. So look at it this way. Value yourself. If you don't value yourself, no one can value you. If you look at yourself like low class, people are going to treat you low class. You attract what you keep in your heart. And those are the kind of men you are going to attract. Everybody has an age where God has ordained them to get married. Don't kill yourself. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. We are in 2022. I'm telling you, no man, even the married men will say it, no man wants a woman who is not working, who doesn't have value, who doesn't value herself. And let me tell you, when a man knows from the beginning that he cannot do anything, any kind of nonsense to you, those little nonsense he used to do in his other relationships, he throws them away. When he knows that you have value, you have respect for yourself, he's not able to do it. And don't put yourself in your position where you have to say something and withdraw it back. That means if you tell somebody, a man that, I don't drink alcohol, don't drink alcohol to please him. Because he'll look at you like somebody who is, doesn't... Uh, uh, stand on their words who doesn't value their words if you say you're going to be somewhere at 10 30 be at 10 30. men should be running after women not a woman running after a man because we are the price because a man should know that when he has a woman in his life even if the woman is just an a-level holder he's going to be a king in any area of his life which he wants to go into or which he is in so that thought of we ladies saying, I'm waiting for a rich man to come and marry me. I, I want a guy to be rich, to be have this, to have this. It shouldn't be because you can take a guy who is a, a bike rider or who's a hawker and turn him into a mogul. That is why God gave a woman a womb. If only women know what God has put in us, we are able to take anything you give us and mold it. And that is why as a woman, if you are with somebody who doesn't listen to you, because men are naturally stubborn sometimes, sometimes, know that you may not grow together. Because a lot of men, due to immaturity, think that the opinions or the suggestion of a female doesn't matter because they are the head of the family. But they are shallow-minded because they don't see that what God has placed in a woman is to grow anything that is in her. A lot of men who have made bad decisions in their life it's because they didn't listen to the advice of their wives, of their girlfriends. If they would have listened, they wouldn't have gone and gotten stuck at that point. What am I trying to say, ladies? I'm not trying to say that we should be proud, we should be arrogant. All I'm trying to say is, let us value ourselves. Let us put a price tag on ourselves. Remember that when we get married, 
we are the ones who give up a lot of ourselves out, not our spouses. We give away our culture, we give away our last names, we give away a lot to build a home. So take this time out, spend time with yourself, learn to be alone, love yourself. Remember what the Bible says, Jesus said, love others as you love yourself. And remember, Jesus loves unconditionally. The first seed that Jesus planted in any human being or any believer, any Christian, is the ability to love because he knows that you cannot give what you don't have. If you don't have love in your heart, you cannot love back. So learn to live a life of peace. If you notice that someone irritates you or doesn't help you move forward, love them from a distance. Avoid keeping malice and unforgiveness. I'm telling you, your life will be much easier and peaceful. Trust me, I know what it means to work with people or live with people who are hypocrites, but they are always there. Remember that once God formed you in his womb, in your mom's womb, and you were brought to this earth, your life was scripted. So there are people who come into your life who are not meant to stay, who are meant to propel you, who are meant to make you learn certain things about life. So ladies, Remember, we are the price. We are the price that every man on this earth should need. That is why God gave us, <laughs> gave the world everywhere. Ladies, we have more ladies and more females everywhere in the world than men. And if you want to look at it scripturally, looking at the Bible, women are the ones who preach the gospel more, who were evangelists, who supported the gospel. In fact, just know that we can break, we can break scripture because breaking scripture will mean that Jesus Christ is a liar. And it's not so because he's not a God that should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. Jesus cannot be a liar. So if you are in that relationship where a man tells you, you have to devalue yourself to be with him, you have to sleep with him before he gets married to you. You need to have a child with him before he gets married to you. That's nonsense. Stop it. You will find a man who will follow your principles and your way of life. And let me tell you a secret. It is a woman who builds the home, who sets the principles, not really the man. The man just buys the house and he kind of acts like he's the head giving the rules. But I'm telling you, if you have principles in your life, the man who comes into your life will follow the principles. Another important thing, if you have a child out of wedlock or you are divorced, do not compromise your love for your children, your, your availability for your children to be with an outside man. Do not send your children to your parents, your grandparents, your great grandparents, or their, your, your ex-husband's family, or the father of your baby daddy's family, because the other man does not want your children. If a man loves you, he will love your children, and he will love anything about you. Trust me. Trust me. When you begin to compromise your principles as a lady, a man starts to lose respect for you. God bless you. Till next time. Bye-bye.